Okay, chat, so right now we're playing the automatic plague build. We have lethal pursuers, so we can automatically find them. No need to make a big effort or anything. Uh, then we have a perk to automatically break pallets, automatically uh, lock, oh, sorry, uh, block windows, and one to automatically uh, regress gens. There you go. It's all chill. Um, you're so in the open. I think this is a good idea. This is really bad if they make it to a window, but I think this woman won't. How much is she? Just a bit more. Alright, that hard. Use it. Use it, that hard! No, just kidding. She has a habit. I knew that. Okay, so this lady that we chased off is probably on that gen. These guys are maybe doing um, shack, but that automatically gives me my power for 40 seconds, which is poggers. Oh, you're behind us, aren't you? And we don't need 40 seconds, honestly. Oh, uh, that might have been bad. There's another person there. But yeah, I also automatically get my power every time to do a gen. And I'm using the very useless uh, yellow add-on that makes it so that there's only four fountains. One, and then two, three, four, whatever. So if they cleanse on all of them, I also automatically get my power. I'm never gonna drink from any fountain. I am very tired. And I also hate water. Oh! So yeah, if they cleanse two more times, that's it. Done. I feel like someone's locked in here. Yeah. Uh-oh. You found my totem. Wait a minute. Chat? This is... This is doable. I just need to fully infect her. That heart? Oh no, that's really sad. Oh no, that's really sad too. <laughs> that heart this, you casual. Nah, I'm joking. There you go. That's value from that already. Is basement here? Oh, shame. Would have been a sight. Uh, she's fully infected, so she'll infect someone else. We need to also make sure everyone else gets infected one way or another. So that they keep drinking and we get our power more. What other gen do you think? I think that one in the corner, but it's too risky if I... Oh, yeah. This is better. Hello. Oh, it's not so. That could have been beautiful. Oh, they're healing? Dude, don't heal near a plague with... Are you crazy? If you heal, I'm gonna down you in five seconds anyway! Yeah, don't, never heal next to a, a plague with her power. That's just asking for trouble. You see? Okay, let's say this girl just healed. Wow, incredible. You see the problem? If you're in the open, don't ever do that. If you're like, I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, no, just just don't do that. <laughs> Period. Anyway. A little bit of puke. Uh, a little bit for you as well. Uh-oh. They got my autopilot perk. Alright, that's fine. We still have the auto window ones. Um, They're all infected now. Sooner, sooner or later, they'll all be red. And if they cleanse two more times, we get our power again, so... Because uh, this is a rare mechanic that doesn't really show up in gameplay all that often. Oh, am I being smart? I don't know. I th chat, I think we were played for fools. Yeah, I think she watched from behind. Yeah, okay. At least we didn't commit to going that direction. So yeah, uh, there's normally six fountains in the map. Uh, sometimes seven with a uh, apple add-on. And with this add-on, only four. If they cleanse all of them at once, you lose all of them immediately. Which is bad. But you also get your power automatically, which is good. So, yeah, you typically don't want that to happen, because then you're losing out of a lot of chances to use your power. This window's blocked! You can't use it! <laughs> oh, hold up, I forgot about that. Shoot. Um, can you guys do a gen real quick? I could have played around that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'd like to have my power. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Do you not like Thana on Plague? I don't love it. I don't love it. Uh, if you infect everyone, 
and you don't commit to getting downs with your red pukes, what's most likely going to happen is they're all going to cleanse at once, or they're just going to use their resources, and the extra slowdown is not going to be that worth it. If you have Thana, you might find yourself in a situation where they push through the through the gens somehow. They all cleanse at once, and now you have worthless endgame or worthless midgame potential. Uh, compare that to the Scordons, which at the very start lets you see a bunch of people, lets you puke on gens. Oh, sorry. Uh, lets you puke on gens that you know have multiple people buzzing around them. Uh, Bitter Murmur, Barbecue and Chili, all those perks you can you can use, right? So now I have Thana, and if the map is big enough, I don't know where I'm headed. If I have Discordance, Tinker, or Barbecue, I know where I'm headed. So I can pick up this fountain on the way and use it. So I think information and heavy, heavy uh, stall perks are better than just a slight slowdown. My opinion, though. Like, give me, give me a build with Thana. And other than, like, maybe one or two very specific builds, I guarantee you that that build is better with Retribution, if it has Texas. Uh, if it has Hexes Retribution, Floods of Rage. If you have Scorch Hooks, Floods of Rage. Banger of a perk on this girl. Um, if you're going for end game or early game, Lethal is great for early game, you saw that. Uh, no Way Out is still really disgusting on her. Um, yeah. Like, you can literally, on the end game, you can puke on the gates, have them touch a gate, and then for one minute they are useless. And they get infected and they need to cleanse again. So, you can even have a bit of end game, which is not the Plague's strongest uh, suit with that perk, which is awesome. Hey y'all. Can I snipe that? I don't think so. Actually. Maybe that was close. So, how many white phantoms do we count? One, two, three. One more cleansing and we got it too. And this girl's dead. Hey, we get it! Look at my timer. <laughs> That's it, chat. That's the first time you'll see this. I don't do anything good ever in your life. Not really. I could have just picked those up along the way and it would have been better, but you know what I mean. And now for a 360. Yeah, plague's disgusting on these maps, dude. Mm. Yeah, I'm not saying Thanos bad, chat. I'm not saying Thanos bad, so please don't don't misunderstand me. Like, if you have an average of two people injured, and then you are absolutely surgical on everything you do, that's pretty game-changing. I'm just saying, most people, they're not absolutely surgical. There's gonna come a point where you don't know where survivors are. You have a fountain that is in the middle of... Like, imagine, in that corner there. Like, in the middle of nowhere. Did I hear you cough? She's there, she's drinking. Coming soon. Ah, I can't drink! Damn, that's not automatic. Oh, oh, she got it. Fair enough. Couldn't win that. Do you think that a hard skill check play would work? No, not a lot. Hmm. I mean, I guess you could, yeah, if you go- if you go very aggressive with apples. And then get lullaby two to three stacks, and then have oppression, lullaby, undying, uh, overcharge. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because you get a couple early downs with apples, yeah, you could do that. Plague, can, Plague has a lot of strengths, but no, uh, impossible skill check, probably not one of them. GG, we'll play it Fun build. Fun survivors. We got so many little points. <laughs> oh, I know why. <laughs> because we, we never picked the fountains or anything. Yeah, I guess that's why. Oops.